Hey guys, it's David Edgerton here in Houston, Texas. Today is September 1st, and we have just had a really bad last week dealing with Hurricane Harvey. This has been such a disaster here in the Houston area. I can't even begin to explain all of the crazy emotions that I've been feeling. It's a completely overwhelming feeling thinking about all of the people that have been affected by the flood. Even though I have had family that has dealt with flood issues in the past, um, having to witness everybody with all the suffering and heartbreak, it's just really overwhelming and it saddens my heart. I know that some of y'all have are, or could be experiencing this uh, disaster firsthand, or I know that you know someone who's been affected. It is a struggle. It is soul crushing. It takes such a will and commitment and just strong power to persevere through this time of tragedy tragedy and you know we will get past this it just is going to take time and a lot of hard work but we will persevere and and get past this you know there's a lot of our neighbors and a lot of our friends whose houses have flooded and you know it's unlivable or they're going to live in a construction zone for months to come. It is so sad to be living in a home with, uh, you know, the sheetrock taken out, the insulation, bare concrete floors, uh, your kitchen cabinets are ripped out and dealing with contractors and the dust and people coming in and out, uh, the mold remediation, the, the dryers, the fans. I mean, it is a living nightmare. Um, but again, it just takes time. If you have your process in place and your timeline, you just know that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. With that said, um, there's there's so many people who don't have flood insurance, or they live outside the hundred-year floodplain, and you know they never bought flood insurance. Um, I know I don't own flood insurance. Uh, luckily, my my home wasn't flooded, but for those people. It's going to cost so much money to, to repair their house. And luckily, there are programs out there that can help. Uh, the first thing that someone will probably do is make a claim with their insurance. Um, because it's a flood and they don't have flood insurance, that's going to get rejected. Then they may apply for a government FEMA grant money, but most people make too much money and won't be eligible for anything substantial but it is still worth a try what they'll most likely offer you is to say something like you know you can get a loan with them and you can finance your repairs the uh, other choices are to go to your bank and get a loan or um, one of the main reasons for this video is to talk about a refinance loan. It's called a FHA 203. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. FHA 203H disaster recovery loan. Uh, there are certain lenders out there or private bankers who can do a conventional disaster refinance loan. Uh, where essentially it's just a, a, a standard remodification loan, but they're gonna roll in the uh, construction cost into the primary loan. So rather than having 
multiple lines of credit out there plus your existing mortgage you just have one and the good news is is that the mortgage lenders will help you oversee the process and deal with the contractors so that you kind of know everything's more on the up and up rather than dealing with the traveling salesperson that hopefully isn't going to scam you you know uh, there's there's there are some good lenders out there I do have a list of a couple that you can talk to or tell your friends and family to contact me and I can send them their way and put you in uh, contact with them uh, the second or another topic that I want to talk about is uh, basically if any of you know of anyone who needs to find a rental or an apartment I can certainly um, help with that um, just have them contact me and we can get a list together go check them out and go put in the applications and find a new home for them uh, sometimes a renter will be in a lease ex right now where they can't live in the home and if they can get out of their lease which they should be able to uh, if the house was damaged um, if they need to find a new place, just have them contact me. Um, can't think of any other topics at the moment. If I do, I'll just include them in the email. But guys, uh, I have been thinking about each and every one of you. Uh, I, you know, I hope y'all made it through. And if you haven't, you know, just stay strong. Let me know if you need anything. And uh, you know, Houston strong. We're gonna get past it. Thanks, guys. Talk to y'all later.